Hey y'all, I'm Paula Dean, and it's time to gather everybody in the kitchen, cause today I'm gonna be fixing up an easy family dinner. In fact, I've got a surprise for you. Jamie and Bobby's gonna join me in the kitchen, and hopefully they're gonna help their old mother out. And for starters, we're gonna be fixing a delicious wild rice salad that I'm gonna follow up with a creamy Mexican chicken casserole. And we can't have a casserole without some yummy green chili corn muffins with just the right spicy bite. And finally, at our house, you know, a meal's just not complete without a big old pot of fresh green beans and new potatoes. You would never believe that a veggie could be this flavorful. So get the dinner bell a ringing, y'all, and gather around the table, cause it's time for family dinner. Is come on in here in the kitchen with me today because it's all about family meals. Getting in the kitchen and, and making more memories and more delicious meals. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna start with a delicious wild rice salad. And Bobby, what are you doing, son? Well, I'm gonna make the, uh, I'm gonna make the dressing for the salad. Okay, great. Oh, you got a great jar. All right, on today's salad, we're gonna use uh, the real deal, we're using real wild rice. We're not using a mixture. It takes you know, longer to cook. I'm it not. does, it takes longer to cook, but it's worth the effort. Now, I've got a pot boiling. Let me help you, is that okay. hot? It, no, it's all right. All right, we're gonna stir in our wild rice into our boiling salted water, and then we're gonna cut it down to simmer after about 45 minutes to an hour. I've got a pot of wild rice that's been cooking and should be ready. I have a spoon right here, Mom. Okay. Now all you're gonna need to do, ooh, all the water has absorbed, hadn't it? So we're not even gonna have to drain so it. So Mom, does it matter? I poured the oil in and I'm about to go ahead and put in the white vinegar. Does it matter in what order I, I combine this? For this dressing, son, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, a lot of times when you're making oil and vinegars, you'll want to incorporate your oil last, but with this dressing, it does not matter. So you put your celery seed in, you put your dry mustard. White and pepper. Now you're gonna put your white pepper. Your paprika. Your sugar. Your fresh garlic. And last but not least, your fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Doesn't it look yummy? It really does. And, and when I shake things in jars I'm unsure <laughs> about, son, I always, there that's you a, go. That's a neat little trick. Yeah. But you can see it's still kind of loose. Mm -hmm. But when I shake things like that that I'm unsure of, just to protect my clothes and everybody else's clothes, you know, I put a rag over it. Got it. So there you go, you can work on that. And our wild rice is done. In case yours has still got a little water in it, then you'll just want to pour it into a colander and drain it. Okay. And what have you got, son? Well, we've got just a chopped spring onion. Mm-hmm. And we've got some bell peppers, chopped kind of medium. Mm -hmm. Cherry tomatoes, my favorite. Cherry grape tomatoes. Mm-hmm. I should love them. I do, too. Mm. You know, these seem to have flavor like all year round, unlike our summer tomatoes mm -hmm. that Add some small English peas. Hard to beat a, a fine ripe tomato, but I love the grape tomatoes. They are delicious. Artichoke hearts. And those have been marinated, right? Mm -hmm. Those are not just the can. Wild rice is really not even a rice. It's a, it's a form of grass, and the American Native Indians have been eating it hundreds and hundreds of years. Did not know that. All right, um, Mom. Yeah. I got your dressing ready. That's what we need. Oh, good. You got something to put it Bobby, in. I'm telling you, this is um, made. Look how beautiful this is. It's beautiful. With park a piece of fish on top mm -hmm. of it. So beautiful. What are we gonna do with that dressing? You're gonna this toss is... that through here? Well, we actually made enough dressing, I think, for two batches of this. So we're just gonna use half of this dressing on it. Okay. And this is one of my buddy Susan Green's recipes. You know, every year she kind of kicks off. Hey Gertie quail and dove season by doing a dinner for all the hunters. Hey, Gertie. And hey. this is one of the dishes that she serves the men. They just love it. Look how beautiful that is. Just. It is so pretty. Mom, what do you think uh, on this? Would you would you refrigerate it or would you want to serve it hot oh, no, out of son, the pot? It's one of those things. You can serve this warm or cold. It's really pretty. These mm -hmm. are toasted slivered almonds. I love the crunch in them.
Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. Wow. I love it. Mm-hmm. And Jamie, you're right. This would be perfect with a piece of fish. Yeah. Or chicken. Chicken would be good. Mmm, chicken. Mm -hmm. And that reminds me. Why don't we do chicken next? Okay. That wonderful Mexican chicken. Y'all stick around, cause we're going to Mexico. What do they do in Mexico? <laughs> to me, family meals is foods that suit all kind of appetites. And I like choosing dishes that are not hard to make. I like for all members of the family, whether they're good cooks or not, to be able to get in the kitchen and help prepare these dishes. So that's what we're doing today. And next up is one of my favorites. Mine too. Well, you know, just behind the candy food group, <laughs> Mexican is Brooke's favorite. So this is something that we do at the house a lot. And it's kind of simple too, Mexican yeah. chicken. All right, now we know what Janie Dean's cooking up, but let's find out what Bobby Dean's cooking up. I'm gonna make green chili corn muffins, uh -huh. uh, but I need a couple more items from the pantry, so why don't you get started and I'll be okay. right back. That sounds great, okay. son. Tell me what you're gonna start mixing over here, son, for your Mexican chicken. This is a cheddar cheese soup, a can of cheddar cheese soup. That's what we're gonna start with. Okay, and what kind of soup was that again? It's cheddar cheese, mom. It's cheese, <laughs> it's cheese, it's of the cheddar I family. I was just fun in you, I was just fun in you. These three things is the base of a lot of recipes in your cookbook I've seen. Yeah. And this is a cream of mushroom soup and a cream of chicken. And another thing that's always been a favorite around our house that's so versatile is a can of tomatoes. And this dish is so easy that even my grandchild could put together if I had one. <laughs> Still practicing, Mom. Still practicing. <laughs> I don't want to hear about the practicing. I want to hear about the results. <laughs> All right, now we're going to start with a casserole dish, and we're going to start with two flour tortilla shells. We're going to layer this, and then we're going to layer the chicken. And the sauce is going to, as we bake it, it's going to run <laughs> down over that chicken. I have, I wouldn't, we, let's put a little spray in here first. Okay, whatever you wanna do. Cause those tortillas have a tendency to dry out and if they ever suction to the bottom and cook on there, you'll never get that first okay. layer off. Okie doke. All right, so you ready for me to put them down now? And what all this is, is a one whole bone chicken. We've used the dark and the white meat. Cause uh, all the juice, a lot of flavors in the dark meat. Oh, I love the dark meat. That's my favorite chicken. Got a layer of chicken and a layer of your sauce. All right, so two more tortilla shells. It's just that simple. Well, son, how about if I move you on over here and you finish layering that. Now you've, st I'm sorry, I stepped on your toe. We're gonna start with a tortilla shell and end with a tortilla shell, yep. right? And then we're gonna and then top, the top it with cheese. Yep. Okay, Bobby, are you ready, son? I'm ready when you are. Okay, so tell us about what you're fixing to mix together. Well, it's pretty basic. Uh, just a little cornmeal, a little salt, and a little baking powder. And I'm going to mix these dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. So that's a plain cornmeal that you're using. That's all it is, Since a plain you're cornmeal. adding bacon powder. That's all. I'm going to stir together the dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. Just mix them up. Now, Bobby, you've already added your two eggs. Right. Uh, you could have beaten them and added them to the other ingredients. It really doesn't matter, does it, son? No, it didn't matter to all me. Right. No, OK. <laughs> Next, you're going to add your sour cream. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. For helping me with my show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't want to overmix this. I kind of just dump it all in and mm -hmm. just mix it at one time. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add so the it, oil. So it really doesn't matter. The okay. oil, and this is just a vegetable oil that we're using, just just a standard oil like you'd make a salad dressing with. We're gonna add our green chilies. One can of green chilies. Mm -hmm. And you know those come in small cans in the supermarket. And we're adding a creamed corn. And we're using a canned creamed corn. In fact, you know what would really make this cornbread delicious? Use fresh creamed corn. Am I safe to go ahead and add the cheese You're to this? You're safe to add your cheese. You don't wanna do a bunch of stirring to this. That's about a cup of. Yeah, that looks about like a cup. 
cup of just bleach. blend that in and then I'll I'll get our pan ready okay you could use um, a regular size but the little mini muffins these are just cute hey this is pretty well mixed together that, mom I think that's is, ready uh -huh. to go I wouldn't I wouldn't mix another drop to that and I'll take this spoon for you okay. and you just put a tablespoon of batter into our muffin tins. You're going to fill every one of these up. In fact, before it's over, son, we're going to make three of these. All right. Because I know how you pop we're these down. Three of them, I, I know we are. Okay. Look, Mom. I know. Oh, that looks great, Jamie. So now we're going to put this in the oven. Everything's thoroughly cooked in this. Yep. So all you have to do is really make sure it gets hot and bubbly all the way through. Probably bake it at 350, 325, for about 25 or 30 minutes. Look at that. All right, son, if you take those other, those corn muffins out that are ready, look at this Mexican chicken casserole. Wow. Oh, the corn muffins look delicious. I'm gonna just pop those right out on the counter. Oh, great time of day. Look at these beautiful little corn muffins, y'all. Is that too much for you, Bob? <laughs> it wasn't too much for Mom. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, we, I've got a whole muffin. <laughs> which one is the health nut in the family? Look at that. Mm. Mm. I love them, y'all. They're super. Aren't they yummy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love the way you ended with a tortilla shell, Jamie, on top. It's almost like a south of the border chicken pot pie. Mm. Uh -huh. It really is kind of, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm. It's delicious. The cheese and the tortillas. Cornbread's and perfect with it. Perfect combination. Mmm. Mm. You know, there's nothing like being in the kitchen with your family, making wonderful memories. So, you know, thanks for the memories, guys. Just making more beautiful memories here with me. And coming up, we're going to make even more wonderful memories. Mm. Cause we gonna be eating green beans with new potatoes. Mm -hmm. Wondering how long it take to get to a tater. <laughs> Boys and girls, I hope y'all got mamas and grandmas around the TV with you because I'm fixing to share a recipe that's so, so special to my family. We don't have a family meal that you don't see these green beans and new potatoes on the table, do you? Say, are you cooking butter today? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I'm gonna put some butter in it. And I know you can't cook those without that. No way. Now, Jamie's snapping our green beans. And Bobby, you're just cutting the center out of the new potatoes, aren't you? Right. And there's really no reason why I do them like this other than I just like them. I think they're pretty. I love showing the red skin and the white of the potato. I'm gonna get the seasoning meat started for our green beans. Now, I've got some extra bacon grease around my kitchen. I always have bacon grease in the kitchen. Now, I'm gonna fry up salt meat or salt pork for our green beans. Now you can use a ham hock. So I'm gonna fry these up in our pan. It takes a minute for that seasoning to cook out of that salt pork. Mm -hmm. And that bacon grease is gonna add more flavor. Mm -hmm. It's a different kind of pork from the salt pork. It's gonna add more flavor and it's gonna give our salt meat something to fry in. Mm -hmm. All right, now I've fried that up really nice. Now what we're gonna do and you washed all those green beans before you snapped them, right? I did. Just toss them over in there. Mama, this is a lot of popping hot grease. There'll be no tossing in this kitchen today. <laughs> all right. Now, I'm doing this for a reason. I want to sear those green beans in that bacon fat and coat every one of them before I add any, any liquid at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss some of this onion in there. Now, I don't know that Grandma Paul put onion in there, but I am. And I'm going to put my house seasoning, and then I'm going to add just a small amount of chicken stock. 
and then we're gonna put the cover on these green beans and we're gonna cook them for about 30 minutes. And I don't wanna drown these green beans. So we're gonna let these cook for 30 minutes and then we're gonna toss in our potatoes and we're gonna see if it needs a little bit more juice and we're gonna finish adding the rest of our chicken stock. We're gonna let those potatoes get done and then we're gonna take that lid off and just let any extra moisture in them evaporate. Okay, Mom, all done with the potatoes. Okay, that's great, son. I'm gonna just sit those back there because they're going in the pot of potatoes back there. And in the meantime, I got another pot that's already cooked. Now, Jamie, if you wanna get out some butter, I'm gonna finish the pot off. I love just topping those potatoes with fresh ground black pepper. Doesn't it look just divine? They look like Grandma Paul's. They look just like them, mm -hmm. don't they? Mm -hmm. Maybe because she taught me how to make them. Maybe. Isn't that good? And I'm just gonna just top it with like about a half a stick of butter because I just love the flavor of the butter. And Do you? <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna let that simmer. They smell so good. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, you, you want your beans to like sweat. You wanna sweat out that, that moisture in them. But everything is done and it can sweat after we taste. I got us a spoon. And look at the beautiful little new potatoes. I just love the way they look. So you cook the beans and then you're gonna add the potatoes later? Yeah, you cook the beans for about 30 minutes. You want your beans about half done. Mm -hmm. And depending on the size of your potato, it's gonna take, allow about 30 minutes for those. And um, throw those in your pot. And like I said, you'll wanna check your liquid, but do not drown them. Are they good? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get me a piece of that salt pork. I'm not gonna complain about these. Mmm. This is just my favorite vegetable. You know, some things never change and I love it. Y'all, y'all still love your mommy's cooking and I so appreciate that and love it. And you know, mm. family meals are not complete without a sweet ending. And that's what I've got coming up next for y'all, a butterscotch dip that's delicious with fruit. So I'll see y'all back in just a second. I wanna share with y'all a quick tip but a wonderful ending to any meal. I'm gonna make a tray of fresh fruit and there'll be something for everybody on that tray. And we're gonna dip it in a velvety, luscious butterscotch dip. We've got two cans of sweetened condensed milk, our butterscotch morsels and two tablespoons of butter. Now to this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of vinegar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and one tablespoon of vanilla flavoring. And we're just gonna mix all that together. It's just that simple. And now I'm gonna just pour that luscious dip into a bowl. And I'm gonna surround it with everybody's favorite fruits. So what a way to end a fabulous meal. You can please everybody. Look at that. It's kind of like eating a caramel apple. Mm. I want to thank y'all all so much for letting my crazy family and I into your home today. <laughs> I hope that you'll enjoy these recipes when you and your family are all together, hungry and wanting to have a good time. I just can't imagine anybody not liking the chicken casserole. I can't oh, imagine the anybody Mexican not chicken. liking us. <laughs> <laughs> and the, oh, I can. So simple. <laughs> and the wild rice salad. So versatile. 
<laughs> we don't do anything at our house without the green beans and the new potatoes. And of course, to go with this, you gotta have cornbread, and the green chili cornbread is so good. Mm -hmm. And the butterscotch dip, I've been feeding y'all for years. Love it. Mm -hmm. Isn't it just yummy? Love it. From my family to y'all's, we send y'all best dishes, hugs and kisses, from the deans to y'all. <laughs>